these are the parts we need to make the paper clip switch well they're not really paper clips i think we'll, the proper name is paper fasteners but there we go paper fastener switch we need two black wires so the two black wires there the same length a little piece of card and two paper fasteners now we've got to make a hole in the card so you're going to need a pencil point or perhaps a biro point and it might be useful to have something like a little piece of blue tack or a pencil rubber handy because that will help us make the hole through so let's get them out of the way for a second let's do the card straight away our little piece of card we need to fold it in half so there's long ways there fold it in half long ways try and get it to match up press really hard along the edge you've folded there it goes press lots of times because we need the card to be able to open and close a bit like a book so there it is look like that and now what we want to do is bit of guesswork whereabouts is the middle I think it's about there that'll do and we need to pierce a hole through there now we've got a bit of a trick here because we need the hole to line up on the other side as well because the two fasteners are going to fit in and they're going to touch together so they've got to be in the right place so let's just do one at a time don't try and do the second one and that's where the rubber or the blue tack come into it look so if you just decide where you're going to do the hole make sure you've got a decent point on a pencil put it on top of the blue tack there i think that's the center there give it a little push there we go so there's the first hole now if you fold it again and squiggle through the hole a little bit like that there's exactly where we need to make the other hole so same again let's try a pencil rubber this time on top of the rubber look point both of them seem to work uh oh put a little hole in the rubber never mind and we've got the holes in exactly the right place so now what we'll do is take the fastener and imagine it's a book and you want the inside of the book we're going to put the fastener inside so it comes out through the hole there it goes and then the same with the other fastener inside and out through the hole just like that so as you can see when this closes together the heads of the fasteners will touch each other in the right place every time right we've finished that part let's put it out of the way and concentrate on the wires the wires have already been partly cut through so the plastic insulation on the wire can be pulled off so you've got to have quite a firm pull to pull it off and you'll see that there are lots of separate little strands there in fact there are seven these can be a nuisance so what we've got to do is hold firmly on the main part of the wire and then pinch and twist like a crab's nipper pinch and twist pinch and twist pinch and twist and we're trying to make a nice tight twist of wires all the way along to the very end there we go by bringing all the little strands tightly together we've made them nice and strong otherwise they tend to snap off and then what we're going to do is go to the back of the switch where the prong of the fastener sticks through and what we want to do now is loop it round loop 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 all the way around not just once we want to loop it round all the bare wire all the way around as many times as we can well that was once let's go for twice we've just made it look and that's got all of that bare wire touching the metal paper fastener the plastic stops there look it doesn't wrap round the plastic insulation doesn't wrap round it's just the bare wire now try and squeeze it down to make it nice and flat like that and then open out the prongs now when you open out the prongs look perhaps you had the paper clip that way we don't want the wire to be near the edge we want it to be near where you, where the fold is so i'm just going to twist the whole thing around like that look point the wire towards where the fold is and then have the fastener so it's sort of left right like that and that just makes it a bit easier to cover it with sticky tape after we've finished so I'll squeeze it down like that and then we're going to repeat exactly the same thing just get the wire out of the way temporarily 
exactly the same thing for the other one. Pop off the plastic insulation, twist to get all the strands together, all the way to the end. Hook the wire around, right up close like that, and we need all of that bare wire wrapped around the other fastener. So I've got that twice, maybe two and a half times round. Squeeze the wire down nice and tight, open the fastener. Now remember, try and get it lined up like that so that the wire heads towards the middle where the fold is. So flatten it down and there's our paper clip uh, switch finished. Well, not fin quite finished, but just about ready, pretty close to finishing. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the two uh, long wires and we're going to point them towards the back like that. It's a bit like sort of a, one of those Venus flytrap plants which can catch a fly. And now what we're going to do is twist the wires together at the back. So I'm just letting finger and thumb let the wires come through and gradually twist. There we go. And that just keeps the whole switch together and stops these wires from tangling up when we're going to use the switch. So you've got some sticky tape on a little um, piece of plastic straw, peel a little bit off and then cover it over the back. So that just keeps the wire in the right place, just gives a bit of protection against the, the paper clip and then similarly for the other one. Squeeze the tape on and that's our paper clip switch. Now it can't be used just yet because we've got to do the same thing here with those wires. Untwist, uh, sorry, pull off the um, plastic insulation, then twist the, the, the wires so that they, the strands all come together. There we go. So that's our little paperclip switch, which looks a bit like a Venus flytrap insect eating plant. Fantastic. <laughs>